My name is Simone Monio, and I'm King Hrothgar's private chef. This is my assistant dragon, Wiglaf, and today we're going to show you how to make some roasted chicken Viking style. So for the ingredients, you will need olive oil, black pepper, salt, one lemon, two pears, two apples, three carrots, one sweet onion, sprigs of rosemary, unsalted butter, garlic, and one three to four pound chicken. Before we start, make sure to preheat your oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. First, we will place our fruits in a bowl and wash them thoroughly with water. Next, we will cut the fruit. Cut the pear in half vertically, put it flat against the cutting board, and thinly slice it into many pieces. Next, we will cut the apple vertically on its side into thin circles. Now, we must wash the potatoes thoroughly with water. Cut the potato in half. Put it flat against the cutting board and cut it in half again. Repeat, then cut into eight sections. Now onto the carrots. These are too long for the bowl, so I will be cutting them in half before I wash them. Now wash thoroughly. First, cut the carrot in half. Then, cut each half in half again to make four pieces. Now onto the onion. Make sure you peel it first. Then put it on its side. Cut it vertically into thin circles. Moving on to the garlic. I'm using four cloves. Crush each clove first by pressing on it flat with a knife, then cut in half. Hello, fellow dragons and vikings. It is I, Wiglaf the dragon. And my master, Chef Simone, is tired from cutting up all those fruits and vegetables. So I will be entertaining you all for a short break. First, I will tell you fun facts. Viking farms often have apple orchards and pear trees. We grow onions, potatoes, and carrots during the appropriate seasons, and we even raise chickens. The roasted chicken Chef Simone is making for King Hrothgar is such a popular dish for many wives to make their husbands because it is made with the ingredients we cultivate. Ah, yes, thank you, thank you. You guys wanna hear a joke? Okay. How do Viking ships communicate with each other? Anyone? Anyone? Okay. Through Norse code. <laughs> I am so funny. Okay, that's enough for now. Goodbye everyone and have fun watching the rest of this tutorial. Hi guys, it's Chef Simone and I'm back from my break. I hope all of you had a good laugh with Wiglaf. Now, we will put all of our fruits and vegetables into the dish. First, create a bed of apples at the bottom of the dish. Then, add the pears on top. Mm -hmm. 
Place the onions on top of the pears. Put the carrots off to the sides. Lastly, add the potatoes. Now, we will prepare the chicken. First, pat it dry. Then, place the sprigs of rosemary inside the cavity of the chicken. Add the garlic. Cut the lemon in half and place it inside the chicken. Flip your chicken over and get at least three feet of twine. Tie the legs of the chicken together. Put a string through the legs of the chicken and tie the arms of the chicken to its body. Secure the string and tie a knot at the legs of the chicken. Place your chicken in the center of your dish along with the extra sprigs of rosemary and garlic. Now, cut your butter into small pieces. Place your butter on top of the chicken in order to give it a nice crust. Season your chicken generously with salt and pepper. <music> Lastly, put a few splashes of olive oil on top of your chicken. Your chicken should look like this. It's time to put the chicken in the oven. Roast the chicken for at least one hour and 30 minutes. Cut and remove the string from the chicken. Now you can plate your chicken. This is how I plated the chicken for King Hrothgar. Now it's time to serve this dish to King Hrothgar.